a 69 year old resident that lives in the East End and Idlewood edition. We have a golf course in our area known as Gus Bar that maybe some of you guys have played. Okay, we have uh, basically an attack by the Houston Botanical Gardens to come in to try to take this golf course over. There's 150 acres there. Botanical Garden only wants 85 of it. That will leave 65 acres that would not be able to be used for any kind of golf course or anything else. If this happens, it's going to throw all this property up into limbo as far as we're concerned. We don't like the way the future looks for the 65 acres if this happens. Uh, I'm here today to tell you a lot of the problems that I can see that would occur if this happened. Uh, to start with some of them. The increased flooding in the East End area has been a problem. We've had uh, Harris County Flood Control District taking care of our problems trying to get all the floodwaters out. If we come in there and start doing development with a 2,000 car parking lot that is proposed, uh, all of this will channel more water into the bio, braised bio that is there. Also, up on the other end, we just got a Walmart that came in there, and we're going to have that channel in there. So this is going to increase flooding, and I live right on Braves Bible, and I'm not looking forward to having any kind of, more, uh, of a water problem. Uh, this will also eliminate green space. Uh, we have refineries to the east that will put out pollutants. And this will be impacted also if we start covering it up with uh, structures and things of that nature. This golf course has a historical land site. Uh, it was built in 1908. Uh, the next problem would be increased traffic. When this thing goes under construction, the traffic on Wayside, which is already very bad, uh, would be increased by all the construction traffic. Then whenever it becomes operational, that would put even more uh, traffic on the wayside, which is a major problem. Uh, the 65 acres will become a problem trying to figure out what's going to happen to it, and all the residents in the neighborhood that have really looked at this thing are really interested in what will happen. Uh, my own personal assessment of this, I call it the Texas land grab. I think that we have people here that are trying to grab our, our area in the East End and do something thank we don't thank want. Thank you, sir. Your time has expired. Thank you. Th thank you for coming down. I, I have a couple comments. First of all, this is not a city proposed project. This, the Botanic Garden is a private nonprofit that is looking at a number of different land sites. A botanic garden would not increase flooding. It would not reduce green space. Botanic garden is about plants. And the proposal, which, again, it's out there in the public. It's not coming from the city. Would be to take half the site as a botanic garden and reconfigure the rest of the site as a nine-hole golf course. So it would not eliminate the golf course. The city is not going to... Uh, remove Gusworthen Park as a park. Whether it remains as a golf course is another question, but uh, we're not planning on <coughs> selling it for redevelopment or anything like that. I just wanted to get that clear. Chair recognizes Council Member Rodriguez. Thank you, Mayor. And, uh, I appreciate those comments. <coughs> Mr. Lavoie, thank you for being here. Would you, did you have a few more comments that you wanted to? Yes, I have a lot okay. of I'll, 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 I'll give you some time if you'll go ahead and just get through the. Okay. Well, I'll get right to the very end of this thing. Uh, Houston Botanical Society is a social club. It's not qualified to manage a $100 million capital project. You don't have a master plan. You don't have any drawings. You don't have any cost. <coughs> you don't have any money. Uh, you do have no, uh, no public track record. Your address is a post office box. Your total proposal consists of some garden photos downloaded from the internet and a friendly smile. You have nothing. We don't disagree with you at this point. I'd like to get you back. When you say it's my time, you're on my time. So, so. Uh, 
Thank you, Ms. LeBlanc. I appreciate that. All right. Thank Again, you. we are, uh, this is not a city project. We were not initiating it. It's not initiated out of my office. There's an interest. There are several members of the community that, you know, want more information. So I think that's what Mr. Ross is attempting to do to, to gain support. But obviously, we want to hear from the community. Thank you for being here. We'll uh, make sure that uh, we know that you're in opposition to this. Okay. And, and just for the record, and I'm sure you know this, I've hosted a golf tournament every year since I've been elected to raise money to preserve that golf course. So, but I have an obligation to listen, listen to the constituents. Is that sure. Right? Thank you. I appreciate it. Councilmember Burke. <coughs> Thank you. I'm sorry, Mr. Lavoy. Mark. Councilmember Burke. Excuse my voice here. Yes, I'm back in the room now. <laughs> Thank you. What you just said. Thank you very much. I'm going to be real short and brief. You talked about the history of Houston Country Club, that being it. Fantastic golf course we have at Gus Wortham. Some more money needs to be put into that golf course to bring it up to par where it needs to be. <clears throat> the Park and Recreation Department is doing uh, what it can for it. Uh, I'm going to ask, and since you love to play there, and I love to play there also, that you join us and my colleague, uh, Councilmember uh, Rodriguez, as far as in putting something into that course, helping it raise funds, having more tournaments there, and to make sure that they can repair the greens and, and at the same time get a new water sprinkler system in there because right now they have a residential watering system on the fairways, which it shouldn't be, it should be commercial. Um, so uh, let's work together and let's see what we can do. Look, that uh, botanical uh, garden there thing, uh, uh, that is a good course. It's close to my house and I like playing that. Thank you. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> 